Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's work on solving systems of linear equations by substitution. And here are the steps we're going to follow. We're going to rewrite one of the equations with one variable isolated. Then we're going to substitute the rewritten equation from step one into the other equation. Then we're going to solve this new equation. Then we're going to find the value of the other variable by substituting this solution in step three into the equation. So let's get started. Let's start with step one, and I'm going to go ahead and solve for this one. So I have a minus 3b equals negative 10. I need to get the a isolated, so I'm going to add 3b to both sides, and I'm left with these cancel, a equals negative 10 plus 3 so now I have completed step one. So now I, need to, now I need to move on to step two. So I'm going to substitute this answer for A into the other equation. So now I have 5 times negative 10 plus 3B plus 3B equals 4. Okay, so let's distribute 5 times negative 2 is we have negative 50 plus 15b, because 5 times 3b, then we have this 3b here equals 4, okay? So now we're going to solve this. So this would be step 3 here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's combine like terms first. Negative 50 plus 15 plus 3 is 18b equals 4, okay? And so now let's... Get rid of the 50 by an inverse operation of adding 50, okay? So that gives me these cancel. Bring down the 18b equals 54, and then divide through by 18, okay? Am I on the page? Let me move up just a little bit. Okay, these cancel. b equals 3. So now I have completed step 1. Step 2 and 3, so I have B as uh, a solution. So now I substitute this B into the equation. So this will be step 4. So I now have, okay, I'm going to rewrite, follow the arrow. It, they get a little involved. I have 5A plus 3 times B, which is 3, equals 4. Okay, so now let's solve this. I have 5a plus 9 equals 4. Let's, let's get the a by itself. So I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides. Okay, so these cancel. Bring down the 5a equals negative 5. And now let's solve for get a isolated by an inverse operation of division. So equals negative 1. So now I have uh, my solution set. I have a is negative 1 and b is 3. So now the last thing, let's just go through and check our work. And I'm going to check our work here. Okay, so the a now is negative 1. And we're going to subtract 3 times b, which is, uh, excuse me, a negative 3. A negative 3 times 3 equals negative 9. So let's write this over here. So we have negative 1 plus negative 9 equals negative 10. So the solution works out. Hope that was helpful.